We will start the course with a brief discussion on machine learning. Machine learning covers a broad set of methods and techniques that use statistics and machines to simplify data analysis. Apart from businesses and organizations, machine learning also empowers individuals to make informed decisions. It does not matter how big or small your data related problem is. You can gain new insights into your data once you understand the various machine learning techniques. In this course, I am covering the different ways you can cluster your data. Together, these ways can be grouped under the term clustering, which forms an integral part of machine learning. There is also a possibility to confuse clustering with classification. Let's understand the difference between these two related concepts. While clustering comes under unsupervised form of machine learning, classification is a supervised form of machine learning. Supervised learning involves those data analysis techniques where the goal of the study is established before we start working on the data. Imagine that we have data for 2000 cars including their dimension, weight and the type of car. Within the variable type of car, we have options like sedan hatchback, SUVs, etc. Now, suppose some data of 5 cars is given minus the information for the type of car. And based on the existing data of 2000 cars, you need to figure out the type of these 5 cars, whether they are sedan, hatchbacks or SUVs. Such analysis come under classification, that is supervised learning. This is because the objective of data analysis is known beforehand, which is to figure out the type of car. Let's think of some more examples of classification. Let us say that you have some data of 700 lizards available with you, including their length, weight, pupil size, tongue size, and the specific species that these lizards belong to. Now suppose you get data for 3 lizards minus the name of the species they belong to. Based on the existing data, you need to figure out the name of the species for these three lizards. This problem would also come under supervised learning as we beforehand know the goal of the study. Some popular classification techniques include support vector machines, random forest and decision trees. Now let's understand clustering which is an unsupervised learning method. As the name suggests, in such learning methods, we don't know the goal of the study at the onset. As you explore your data, you try to identify groups that share similar kind of characteristics. These groups are called clusters. Now let's understand what is the benefit of identifying these clusters using some examples. Suppose you have the data of 500 students that include their score in 5 subjects. Through clustering techniques, let's say we identified 5 group of students with each group having students with similar kind of marks. We can refer to these 5 identified groups as 5 clusters. There are a number of benefits that are associated with clustering. For this example, by identifying these clusters, focus programs can be created that could cater to students with different kind of studying needs. For instance, there might be an identified cluster where the students are scoring high in 3 of the subjects and low on two of the subjects. Once we identify the unique requirements of this cluster of students, we can change the studying plan accordingly. Another benefit of clustering is that once the clusters are formed, new data can be instantly placed in one of the identified clusters. For the current example, let's say scores of 12 new students is given to us. With the clusters already formed, these new students can be placed in one of the five identified clusters and based on that, their studying needs can be identified. With this discussion, I hope you have an idea of the difference between the supervised and unsupervised form of machine learning. This course is all about clustering. So this is all we are going to talk about machine learning and classification for now. We will stop this video here and continue the discussion about the basics of clustering in the next video.